don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description. In our database design we don't have a one-to-one -one relationship to model however I wanted to show you how you would define a one-to-one -one relationship within your Django model. So a one-to-one -one relationship between two models this means that each record in the first model corresponds to exactly one record in the second model and vice versa. So we have a one-to-one -one relationship. So for one product, there is one item in this case in the stock control table, which you don't need to build. And then for one item in the stock control table, um, there is, is connected or related to one product. So here I've just generated a, a table called stock control. The idea of this table is to record how much stock quantity we have and the person who last checked it. There might be other fields, but just to keep it nice and simple for now. So for one stock item, it relates to one product and one product is related to one stock control item. I say item, I mean one stock control row or record. So we are going to need to generate a new field for this. So I call this uh, product stock, I call this uh, st stock product. Okay, so this is going to be a one-to-one -one relationship back over to the product table. So I'll go ahead and temporarily place it down the bottom here of the models file. So we'll call this stock, stock control. Uh, let's go ahead and add models.model. It's good practice to type this out. Again, if you're completely new coming into this course, um, this is all good experience. So stock control, um, we have the stock, stock quantity. So that is going to be an integer field. So equals model dot uh, integer field. Okay. And then we have a name field of a user, the person who completed the stock check. So that can be a character field. And then we set the max length to 100. And then we go ahead and add a a stock product one-to-one -one relationship. So to add that, that equals, that's going to be models dot, and then you're going to find the one-to-one -one field. So like we did with the foreign key, many to many, we specify the model. In this case, it's going to be the, uh, the product model that we're building a connection to. And then in addition to that, we then need to define the on delete. Similar to the foreign key, so equals models, models dot, and then what you think is appropriate. I'm going to set this to cascade. So there we go. That's our one to one relationship. So just to confirm for one stock item, oh, sorry, for one product, it's going to relate to one record in the stock table. And for one record in the stock table, looking at it the other way, it's going to relate to one product. So what we end up with both sides, a one to one relationship. Okay, there we go. So there we have a one-to-one -one, uh, relationship, very similar to creating a foreign key, you might agree. Uh, so we now have completed our design. Now don't forget, we won't be utilizing stock control. That was just a, an example of a one-to-one -one relationship because we didn't, it didn't naturally occur within our design. So you can see that it's very simple, very similar to creating a foreign key. Right, so now we have created our our models, our Django models. We're now moved to the second phase of this section, which is migrations. So actually now applying our models to the database, actually creating our models in the database.